Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to a new video. My name is Prince Mason. Today, I'm going to show you how to take this image from here, where it is already retouched, to here. A color graded image that looks really good. And I'll be using this opportunity to explain a few things about color grading in Photoshop to you guys and teach you guys how to use the tools that I use in Photoshop for color grading. Now, before I get into this video, do not forget to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up if you like my content, comment below, let me know if you learned a thing or two at the end of this video. And yeah, if you want to download the lots from this color grading, I'll put a link in the description below so you guys can download it. I also put a card up here, you guys can go download it for free. And just, you know, once you save it, come to color lookup, go to wherever you saved it, and you can just pick it like this. Um, particular warm lot right here you can just click OK and it will color grade the image and what you can do is always reduce the opacity to match whatever you are trying to do also what you can also do is put like another lot fit it till on top of that and reduce the opacity and you have both lots you know working hand in hand so yeah you guys can do that so if you want these lots you can just go to my self i page i'll put a link in the description below you guys can download it for free and yeah let's get straight into today's video now the two tools i use basically um in photoshop to retouch are my selective color adjustment layers and my color balance adjustment layer so let's get straight into selective color and i'll teach you guys how selective color works now for selective color what happens is that it selects a color in your image or you select a particular color in your image and you can adjust the colors within those colors in your image so for example we know that reds and yellows affect the skin tone so if i go to the red and i pull this you guys can see it's affecting her hair because her hair is red but it's also affecting her skin right and if i go to my yellows and i pull this you can see it's affecting her skin and also it's affecting her hair because you know we have yellows in both of them right great so that's how the selective color adjustment tool works it just lets you adjust colors within colors now how do you know the colors to adjust within those colors and how do you know what pulling what slider is doing if i pull the cyan slider what is it doing if i pull the magenta slider what is it doing if i pull the yellow slider what is it doing if i move the sliders what exactly are they doing and that is what i'm about to teach you guys now if you know your rgb color wheel i just downloaded this image of the internet but if you know your rgb color wheel you know that the opposite of cyan is red or the opposite of red is cyan so within my reds if i pull my cyans back i am adding red to the red colors in my image and if i pull my cyans up i am adding cyans to the reds in my image do you guys understand what i'm saying i'm pretty sure you guys do now if we go back to our rgb color wheels what's the opposite of yellow is blue and what's the opposite of magenta is green so if we come here look at our magentas if i pull our magentas down i'm adding greens to the reds in the image and if i pull my magentas up i'm adding magenta to the reds in the image and i can go to my blues too if i pull my magentas down i'm adding greens to the blues in my image and if i pull my magenta up i'm adding magentas to the blues in my image if i pull my cyans down i'm adding red to the um cyans sorry i might say cyan i'm adding reds to the blues in my image and if i pull my cyan up i'm adding cyans to the blues in my image do you guys understand i'm pretty sure you guys don't understand so i'm going to delete the selective color layer create a new one selective color and what i'm going to do is go back to my yellows because those are basically the skin tones here and i'm going to adjust my yellows just pull my yellows down till i get something that looks good so somewhere around here let's see our before and our after now for this image i can see i have a lot of blues if you look at the glass here it's blue you have all this it's just blue and uh, um the goal i have in mind is to create a teal and orange look for this image because it would just be easy to really adjust the blues in the image and get it to look um really tillish <laughs> if that's a word so now i'm going to go down to my blues and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some greens to my blues. So by the time I pull my magentas down, I'm adding some greens to my blues. So somewhere, let's say around here is fine. Yeah, 
then I'm going to add some science to my blues. Just can you guys see that? Drag that up and I have some science to my blues. And I'm also going to add some yellows. Now, if we go here, you see the opposite of yellow is blue. So if I, if I, if I pull my yellows down, I'm just going to add some more blues to this, but that's not why I want to go. I want to go the other way. So I'm going to add some yellows to my image. And you guys can see that we're having this teal color, you know, going on right now. And that's just this image. We have color graded this image to look this way. We've adjusted our colors to get our image to look um, something similar to what we're trying to get, right? So now what I'm going to do is create a color balance tool. Now, if you can remember what I said about selective color, what selective color does is simple. The selective color adjusts colors within the colors in your image. So I can add some blues, some cyan, some magentas to my reds. I can add some blues, some cyan, some magentas to my blue. I can add all these colors to the colors in my image. But what your color balance does is that it adds colors to the tonal range of your images. So I can add colors to my shadows. I can add colors to my midtones, and I can add colors to my highlights. Now, depending on the style that I'm going for. So let's say I just want um, to continue with this look, but I probably just want this look to be a bit warmer. What am I going to do? I'll go to my shadows and I'm just going to, you guys can see I have a lot of blues in my shadows and I'm just going to enhance that. So what I'm going to do is probably add some blues to my shadows, right? And I'm going to add some science because I already have a lot of science and I'm going to add some science to my shadows. You guys can see how this looks, but it looks too greenish. So what I'm going to do is just pull in some magentas. You just have to learn to mix colors together so you're not overdoing it, right? And now I'm going to move to my midtones. What do I want from my midtones? I want some warmth in my midtones. So what I'm going to do right now is put some warmth there, some warmth there. <laughs> so I'm going to make my midtones warmer. I'll add some reds and add some yellows to my midtones right and i'm going to go to my highlights and for my highlights i'm going to add some yellows too to my highlights and add some reds to my highlights now you guys can see where this image is going to i'm just going to command select both command or control g to put in a group and this are before and are after so this looks really nice and I, I love how this looks now the next thing that I want to do to this image is just make everything warmer like i just want the whole image to be warm so i'm going to come to photo filter not black and white <laughs> sorry photo filter adjustment layers use the warming filter 85 in density i'll leave it to 25 i'll preserve luminosity and what this does preserve luminosity is make sure the colors are not affecting the contrast and the brightness of your image it's just affecting the colors the overall tone and not the contrast or the brightness of your image and i'll probably just reduce my opacity to probably about 60 and yes this looks good this is an image that i can go with so right now what i'm going to do is create a new selective color adjustment layer but now i do not want my selective color to work to add colors to the color in my image so what i'm going to do is just change my blend mode to luminosity and what i'm trying to do is just affect the tonal range of my image, like the blacks and the whites. What I'm just trying to do is get a faded look basically. So I'm going to come down to my blacks and probably just fade my blacks out a bit. I'll go to my um, blues or cyans right now, because that's what this is, and just fade out my cyans a little bit too. Okay. So you guys can see that. That's how this looks right now. So yeah, this is the final image. Let's see our before and our after. Before and our after. I love how this image looks. And I hope you guys like grasp the whole idea of color grading your images using selective color and the color balance tool. These are like um, adjustment layers. I mean, these are like two really powerful adjustment layers that you can um, use for color grading. Like I just do most of my color grading in Photoshop and this is how I do it. And you can work on skin tones, you can work on clothes, you can work on just the overall mood of your image. It's, they're just really powerful adjustment layers. Like I said, this is the before and this is the after. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You guys can just add a few things if you want to, like 
you can decide at this point that what I want to do is probably just add a vignette to the image, right? So I'm just going to click my uh, um, gradient tool and just hold, um, no, just sorry, <laughs> create a new layer, hold shift, drag from the top. So it cr it's straight, create like a nice gradient here, black gradient, reduce it, probably change my a uh, blend mode to soft light. So I'm just trying to make the edges darker and yeah, this looks really good. So these are before and are after. Anyways, I hope you guys loved this video and I hope you guys have learned a thing or two from this video. I know it's like a little bit more technical and trust me, I've recorded this video more than five times to get to this point. Now, if you want to download the lots for this particular um, from this particular video for free. I have it. I'll put it in the description below and I'll also put a card up here. You guys can download it and use it for your images and let me know what you think. Anyways, thank you so much for watching today's video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have an amazing day. Peace.